Are you guys Shut excited up. to try some yummy food today? Yes, with no so consequences. Excited. I Good. love trying yummy food. Be nice, be nice, be nice. I am gonna be nice. Today. Uh, don't lie. I'm not. Lying. Okay, you're not. What's the yes. catch, though? What do we gotta do? We gotta eat like. There's no catch. Why does everyone <laughs> always think? Last time I filmed a video with Ash, my throat was burned. Today we've got a taste test that hits a little bit closer to home than our normal episodes because y'all are going to be trying some good old Southern soul food. Oh! Yes. Oh. Southern soul food. Oh. I'm so excited. What? Yes. Do you know where the South is? You bitch! <laughs> There's a lot of culture and family behind soul food. I think that's why they call it soul food, right? What's soul food? Like Southern food? Like okra? Grits. Like chitlins. Oh, cornbread. Cornbread, mm. yeah. There's like big arguments like, you do not put sugar in your grits. Yes, you put sugar in your grits. And we're not being punished? We just get to try stuff? We just get to try what? stuff. What? You being serious? Yes, I'm being serious. I can't still tell. The history of Southern style greens in America started during slavery. They were typically given leftover food from the main house to survive. See, like I love it because chance? there's so much no. history behind it too, you know? Other scraps they were given such as ham hocks. Ham hocks? Ooh, okay, those are collard greens. Oof. Those look See? good. Collard greens with ham. It's enslaved people's creativity and resourcefulness that ultimately led to the famous Ooh. recipe we know and love today. Woo! Okay, all right. Oh, collard greens. Three degrees, though, make it up for me, drop that, oh. A staple of Southern U.S. cuisine, collard greens are often stewed with other green leafy vegetables and traditionally eaten on New Year's Day to ensure wealth within the coming year. Oh, I didn't know that. They're also often eaten with salted meats, and today we have some ham hocks for you to try. Yummy. Yum. All right, all right. I feel healthy already. I feel healthy already. Mm. Oh, smells uh -huh. great. Oh yeah, this smells great. Oh, that's really good. I don't feel like you can ever go wrong with ham hocks. What exactly is a ham hock? It's <laughs> called pork knuckle. It is the joint that attaches a pig's foot to its leg. Oh. Wow. Well, it's delicious. Thank yeah, you. it's really good. It's like a salad stew. Mm. Oh my God, it's so good. How is it? It's so good. And it's so healthy because these dark leafy greens are really good for you. For me, it's like in between kale and spinach. If like kind of like the texture just wise, because it's a little bit firmer than spinach, but not quite as tough as kale. Collard no. greens are actually kind of a superfood. They have been associated with cancer prevention, detox support, heart health, digestive support, and contain anti-inflammatory properties. Really? <laughs> so they are very, very good for you. I will be taking these home. Ham hocks <laughs> have been known to cause high blood pressure. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this is a vegetable that like I could definitely right. get I was just down gonna say, on. I mean, I do love vegetables, but like this takes it to a whole nother level. Making mm. eating your vegetables good, fun, good. This is delicious, absolutely delicious. This delicious. Is fire. delicious. I'm excited. So We're good. already starting off so strong. Yeah. Today I'm making some fried catfish. Oh, fried catfish! I've Yum. never tried this. Oh. I, I've never had catfish. I've had catfish once. You've never had catfish? Yeah. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, I love fish. Oh, you're gonna love this. Grew up with fish. Oh, it's delicious. Okra is another ancient superfood that can be found in many southern dishes. And okra, yes. Both of these? I have never had okra either. No? No. Oh, okra. Okra. I think it's so good. <gasps> Ooh. This actually looks so bomb. Right? Ooh! <laughs> Little crispy okra bites, oh my god. Oh my god. Seasoned and fried till golden brown and delicious, fried catfish is integral to American soul food and is very popular at fish fries. Fried catfish can be served with just about anything, so here's another staple of soul food, fried okra. What's this, tartar? Tartar. <laughs> <laughs> Tartar. Pick that up. Oh, look at how crispy and delightful that is. Really? Try some of that tartar sauce that's okay. not aioli. That's and... Oh, it's like literally a fish. A little tartar. This is so good. I love all fish. That's good, huh? It's really good. Mm -hmm. This is my first time having yeah. hot fish. It kind of smells more like chicken than fish. fish oh, I'm not uh, going to stop eating this fish until I they take it away. I love it. It doesn't really have a fishy taste. I've never really had catfish, I guess. It's, it's like tender on the inside. The okras are really good. It's super good, huh? It's like so flaky. They're so light and crispy and airy. I'm really messing with the okra, bro. <laughs> That's good. So catfish became the preference amongst enslaved people because it was easily found in southern lakes and rivers and it was very easy to prepare. In the 1960s, when the cotton farming industry collapsed, many cotton farmers in the south chose to flood their fields in order to grow catfish. Wow. 
Really? But so they would just flood their fields mm -hmm. to get these? That's wild. Right? Why do they call it catfish? It looks like a cat. Have you ever been stung by a catfish? But is that like they're like... Yeah, they're little whiskers. They've got little pointers. Oh. Yeah, the okra is where it's at for That's you, huh? That's really it. It's really it. Dude. I like the fish, to be yeah. honest. Really, this is my new favorite because... This is your new fave? Yeah, so far. I just believe that anything fried is delicious. I'm already, I mean, we're two for two, as far as I'm concerned. Like, everything is just. Erica, grits are basically synonymous with the South. I love grits. Yum. Oh, Yum. you were just talking about it. Cajun shrimp and grits. Mm-hmm. Do you like sweet or savory? Savory. Savory, okay, you like them with cheese? Mm-hmm. I love grits. Wow. Often paired their grits with shrimp caught from the creek. Yummy. When I tell you shrimp and grits are just the it, I love shrimp. Oh I'm a God. huge shrimp girl. Yes, yeah, shrimp and grits is so good so too. Good. Ooh, this is beautiful. Oh, they plated wow. everything so Thank good you. for us today. Yes. You're Woo, right. look at that. Grits is a type of thick and creamy porridge made from ground dried corn. Though traditionally eaten for breakfast, this dish called shrimp and grits is often enjoyed during supper and consists of seared shrimp, bacon, and of course grits. So I love shrimp so much. <laughs> yeah, there's no hesitation without the punishment, you know? It's oh, like, shrimp. let's get in there. This is, I, I think, the best thing so far. I'm not sure if I was expecting that texture, but it's it's not, I, it just wasn't it's what it, I was expecting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just kind of like. <laughs> she did say she was gonna cry if there was shrimp. No, she was like, if there's really actually shrimp, shrimp, I might cry. Try <laughs> time. Really? Mm-hmm, this is my favorite. Yeah, you're gonna like that. And I love the ow. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. Oh, that is. That's so good. <laughs> It'd be tough to eat this for breakfast, so I feel like you'd be so full. No, oh, yeah. That's why it's shifted to like more of a later in the day kind of dinner. Yeah. Meal. The texture of the grits is so perfect, mm. too. Oh my god. It's so good. Oh my it's god. It's really good, huh? Jake is having a moment. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> Oh my god, are you getting emotional? Yeah, this is like really good. There are tears in your eyes. I got soft texture of the grits with a little bit of pop of the sauteed onions and the salt from the ham, and then this really fresh shrimp that's like perfectly sauteed. It's uh, it's working. You feel it in your soul? I do. Mm -hmm. Do you guys know about the sweet versus savory grits debate? Mm-mm. Mom. -mm. So the traditional way of preparing grits airs on the savory side, even often adding in cheese. Mm -hmm. But in recent years, more and more people have been adding sugar to their grits for a sweeter flavor. Mm. It is a hotly debated topic among Southerners. It's like oatmeal. Do you put like brown sugar on your yeah. oatmeal? Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't personally. Yeah, yeah I don't yeah. want to get in the middle of that debate. I'd just rather just eat both. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I remember when you and I went to that soul food place place and there was like somebody told us to put sugar in our grits mm -hmm. and then some other person was like no you do not actually put sugar in your grits. Cheese like, them. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> mm. I'm gonna keep eating this sorry guys. So good. Ten it's delicious. Ten. ten out of ten. This is my favorite thing I've eaten on the channel so far. Mm -hmm. This is my favorite one so far. <laughs> did she you just say keeps... that last Yeah I time. did okay Chitterlings. Widely known by the abbreviated term Chitlins. Chitlins. Oh, oh no. Oh. <laughs> Chitlins. Okay. Yep. Hey, I'm here for it. Let's try it. I don't like intestines. Trust me. I've tried every time. Yeah, I've had Chitlins. They would give the slaves the remainder. This was usually composed of large amounts of awful. Of awful. Awful or awful. African slaves, however, traditionally used every portion. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my God, why? Is this it? Oh my God. Mm. Chitterlings, or more commonly referred to as chitlins, are a dish made with small intestines of pigs and often cooked with onions, peppers, and potatoes to give them more flavor. Okay, let's get in there, Izzy. I feel like I might like this, I don't know. I think you will. I think uh, Wait, I, I'm confident. It smells a little bit odd. Ooh. I don't know. Just a it little does bit. have a certain smell to it, doesn't yeah. it? I'm telling you, my mom always makes like dishes with intestines. I refuse to eat them. It's pungent. It's like sour. I think is the word. Yeah. Does it taste better than it smells? For sure. Wow, that's that's not my favorite. <laughs> let's try. Okay, well, let's go. Your, oh, you're getting a big bite. You know what it is? I think because intestines is more of like it's a texture thing for me. Hmm. Tastes better than it smells. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. It's not. It's not bad. I literally feel like I'm eating inside the pig, bro. Mm. 
No, I don't like that. It makes your breath smell bad. <laughs> it tastes stale to me. So chitlins come from a universal idea of waste not, want not. Mm -hmm. Many cultures around the world have adopted this idea and created many recipes using every piece of an animal they could manage. For example, haggis in Scotland and Esau in the Philippines. Yeah, haggis. What's Esau? Chicken intestine? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, it's like beer. The first time you have a beer, you're like, oh, this is gross. But the second time, you're like, hey, this isn't so bad. You know what I mean? Sometimes you just gotta have to acquire a taste for something. Mm -hmm. yeah. Black Eyed Peas originated in West Africa and were brought here to the United States by the Mid-Atlantic slave trade. Black Eyed Peas. Okay. Oh. I love that band. <laughs> Black eyed peas are so good. There's another ham hock in that, I think. Never tried. Enslaved Africans would cook down black eyed peas oh. and add animal parts like ham hock. More ham! Wow. Yes! Mm. It's a stew. Oh my god! <laughs> this looks like beans. Yes! <laughs> Similar to collard greens, this dish, Hoppin' John, is often eaten on New Year's Day to bring a prosperous year. Hoppin' John is a hearty dish originating in South Carolina, consisting of black-eyed peas, rice, onion, and thick-cut bacon. Yeah, let's go. Ash, this is so good. You're welcome. <laughs> These are peas? Yeah. They look like beans. Don't yeah. they look like beans, though? I love the band, black-eyed peas. But I've never, like, I didn't know it was an actual, like, food. Wow, they, they're fully planning us, like, full meals. <laughs> I didn't know this had like a name to it. My uh, my grandma oh. used to make this all the time. It's good. I like it. Mmm. Just got that thick little ham hock there. Delightful. So good. Ten out of ten. I like the texture of these beans. They're very like crushed in your mouth. <laughs> They're good, huh? Mm -hmm. And then that cornbread. Oh, I love cornbread. Oh, dude, cornbread's so good. Cornbread, the snack jeté. She's my favorite drag queen. <laughs> You're such a dork. <laughs> Dude, I would jump at the another opportunity to have some hop and jump. That was that was for Chris. You gotta get that. <laughs> okay. Let's just sing along. I'm trying to remember the words. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> it's like not overbearing, like or overpowering at all. Like I feel like it's actually really light. The so light. fun fact: leftover hop and John is sometimes referred to as Skip and Jenny. Skip and Jenny? Skip and Jenny? Hop and John is actually tomorrow it's gonna be Skip and Jenny. Hop and John, Skip and Jenny? That's super cute. <laughs> this is my favorite so far, actually. Mm. It just reminds me of what, yeah, like Sunday, Sunday dinner. It's good. I like yeah. it, but my shrimp and grits are still holding. Yeah, the shrimp and grits. I, I really like the thick cut bacon in it, though. Oh, yeah, this is hardcore share. Shareware moment! <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> Did you know that hush puppies have a unique to slavery. Hush puppies. <gasps> I love hush puppies. Hush, hush puppies, puppies are so good. Use hush puppies on the trail as they were running away. Wow. Oh, wow. It was a distraction for the bloodhound. Oh, wow. It would be to hush the, the puppies. puppies. Dude, oh that's my god. Wild. That is incredibly dark and atrocious, but uh wow. But I think that's okay. why it's really cool out, you know, when we when we're trying these, like it's really important to acknowledge like the history, the history. behind yeah. it. What's the uh, What's in it? Yeah, like what is Everyone <laughs> answers. Typically served on the side of seafood or barbecue, hush puppies are small round balls made from a cornmeal batter. They are then fried until crispy on the outside and tender on the inside. <laughs> I always thought hush puppies was like cornbread, like corn in the middle. I don't know. They're like the, the chicken nugget things that I remember from getting like when I was a kid. <laughs> then, like, instead of chicken nuggets, they're like, oh cool, this is like a bread chicken nugget. They kind of look like dongo balls to me. Oh my god, during like uh, the pandemic, I would eat a lot of these. They're so good. It's sad that we're so glossed over our history so much that we just go into Bubba Gums or wherever and order hush puppies without knowing that this is where it came from. This also seems like a fun little like snack. Definitely. Mm -hmm. This is a game day snack for sure. Mm -hmm. I freaking love it. Yeah, see, that's so bad. I would not turn Ooh, these away maybe with ranch. ever. Oh, okay. yeah, some ranch. ranch. Maybe it's like some weird. honey mustard. Did you guys make this? Mm? Mm, really good yeah. job. Ten out of ten, bro. It's Shocker. just the in intestines. This staple in the black community has a very deep past, and it's time to talk about it. Oh. Sweet potato pie. Sweet potato pie. Mm. Ooh, sweet potato pie. Sweet potato pie. I've never pie. had sweet potato pie either. Oh, I love pie. I love pumpkin pie. I've never had sweet potato pie. You are in for a treat. Do you like pumpkin pie? Yeah. Oh, it's like even better. It's so good. Is it sweeter? Pie crust just made from scratch. Yum, yum. 
Yeah, I'll, I've never had it. No, I've never had it either. I've had sweet potato. Mm. <laughs> looks really good. That looks so good. Oh, this is oh. going to be so good. Yes! To cap things off with a dessert, we've got a lovely slice of sweet potato pie, a traditional dessert originating in the South and often enjoyed around the holidays in place of pumpkin pie. I like sweet potato fries. Did you just eat it like a pizza? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> My sweet potato pie? Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. That's so good. I it's... like it better than pumpkin. That tastes like pumpkin pie. <laughs> no, but there's a little different texture than a normal pumpkin pie, though. Oh my God. I'm just going right back in. That's like smoother and more flavorful than like pumpkin mm -hmm. pie. Almost it like citrusy like and pie. bright a little bit. Like it's just got a little bit lighter. Honestly, I can't spot the difference between this and pumpkin pie. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it's so like, it's light. I like it. Mm -hmm. I do like sweet potato pie, like I said, better It's nice than and airy. It's really, really good. I don't know. I, I think I like this one better. I think mm. I do like this a little bit more than pumpkin pie though. It's so good, right? Sweet potato is like sweet naturally and pumpkin is not really like- Oh, it's not, yeah. A sweet naturally, so I feel like they have to put a bunch of stuff in it to make it sweeter. So there's actually a bit of a rivalry between pumpkin pie and sweet potato pie, no. which is due to regional differences. Come on, again. See, Let's again, eat all the pie. Not a, it's not a thing. Like, I mean, it's not a competition. No, like, just eat just... all the pie. <laughs> pumpkin pie became popular amongst northern states due to its profitable yield during autumn, while sweet potato pie grew in popularity with the southern states. This is because the sweet potatoes thrived in the south due to vegetables' predisposition for growing in warmer climates. Yeah, yeah. So it, it was just like entirely about like the environment of like mm -hmm. what grows better. I think that's so interesting of like how the environment can fully change what you can and can't grow. But why does They're there have good. to be a fight? Right? I think it's just to sell more pie. You know what I mean? <laughs> this was a win. This was a total win. I no, bet. I learned a lot. Honestly, I had a lot of firsts this episode of trying mm -hmm. new stuff. And Dude, it was, it was all delicious. Dude, the catfish. I'd have the catfish with the collard green. There's so much history behind these amazing foods, and it's important to acknowledge that. But for sure, and grits, man. I'm going to be dreaming about those. <laughs> we already know what your favorite was. <laughs> Loved the Cajun shrimp and grits. I think the 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 rice and black eyed peas. I think is probably my favorite. Honestly, I think it was the collard greens. Oh wow! I think it was the collard greens. Collard greens yeah. The cornbread and hush puppies are like, if not the same. Well, I'll right. skip and Jenny for lunch tomorrow. <laughs> Nicole, do you like pumpkin pie or sweet potato pie better? Sweet potato. It's got to be sweet. I love pumpkin, but like, there's just something about sweet potato that's so good. Cheers. Mm. Thank you guys so much for watching this soul food episode. What other foods do you want to see us try? Let us know in the comments down below. Bye. Mm. Bye. Mm. I feel it in my soul.